Hey everyone, uh, today we're doing AEW Rampage for July 14th, 2023. Uh, it opens up with Keith Lee and Dustin Rhodes versus two of the Jericho Society dudes. Uh, Keith Lee's head looks very small for his body. That's what I wrote here. Dustin Rhodes makes the hot tag. Keith Lee grabs one of the guys by the balls in midair Keith Lee does uh, his supernova and then they win their team is called naturally limitless I didn't know we needed a team name there's a QTV segment with Harley that fucking hot chick and Johnny TV uh, who was Johnny Nitro who was Johnny I don't know Johnny Johnny Bobani uh, Johnny TV wants a match a trios match versus Daddy, Ass, and the Acclaimed. And I think they want that for next week on uh, Dynamite. I think. I don't know. Whatever. Taya Valkyrie comes out next. She's a pretty hot ass bitch. Um, some jobber <laughs> didn't even have an entrance. I forgot her name, but it said she was known as the Goblin Queen. Uh, Taya just like does a quick curb stomp and instantly wins. They barely even had a like her music played and then they started the match and then she won and then the music played again. Uh, Tony Storm and Soraya come out. Tony Storm is talking shit to Taya and talking shit about Canadians. And then, uh, they say Taya asked her for a uh, match at Battle of the Belts, which is tomorrow. So it's going to be uh, Tony Storm versus Taya Valkyrie for whatever belt she has. The women's belt. Just the regular women's belt. Uh, I really wish this was a bra and panties match. I wish they would bring that back. Tony Khan, if you're listening, at least bring it back for one night. It's Battle of the Belts. It could be spectacular, but whatever. Or, or uh, you know whatever and have Jerry the King commentate on it puppies puppies uh, and I don't see what the point of Soraya is like what does she do does she do anything and then she's not even that hot she's just like super pale like she's just like a porcelain doll hanging out there there's a quick vignette of hook and he's just like eating at a taco truck and he challenges jungle boy uh for his ftw belt and at this point i'm like where's orange cassidy because you know he needs to come out for everything and anything every time uh next we have a match of trent beretta versus murder hawk monster lance archer with jake the snake roberts a lot of quotations and nicknames there uh i feel like jake is struggling to breathe like he needs an oxygen tank all the time filled with crack smoke <laughs> uh, Jake, uh, Jake the snake punches Trent Beretta uh, and then now just from that one punch he's probably all tired as fuck they tried doing that best friends zoom out thing that they really like but they kept it real quick cuz there's like literally no crowd on that side like if you've seen the pictures on uh, Twitter that were been taken down by uh, Don Stevens or Aubrey Edwards, whatever you want to say his or her name is. Uh, DMC taken down, DMCA, I think. Uh, they have like no one there because they've like oversaturated the Canadian market. Like they've had so many shows there, I feel like the Canadians can't afford it. They're their fans, you know, like they can't afford to go to every fucking show that's in Canada, you know. Especially when there's like pay-per-views and Battle of the Belt specials and stuff. Um, let's see. Yep, they have no people in the stands. I can't tell what race that referee is. If he's a gooback. Uh, Lance Archer wins with a lariat. And uh, that other best friend goes in. But then Lance Archer calls out Orange Cassidy. Wants a shot at or the orange belt or whatever orange is carrying in the backpack. <laughs> and he literally says, I will kill these two people if you don't come out, Orange Cassidy. 
And of course, uh, he comes out because we need Orange Cassidy to come out all the time at every AEW event because that's the only reason we watch. Uh, they take Orange's belt. Jake the Snake tells uh, the Murder Hawk monster not to screw the pooch or kill the Golden Goose. And they take the belt and tell him to come get it at Battle of the Belts, which is tomorrow night. Tomorrow night after Collision. Uh, next match is Don Callis, and he brings out that Take a Sheeta. Take, take shit. Take, take a shitta. And the jobber looks pretty gay. Don Callis says the jobber is a friend of Kenny Omega, so I'm like, okay, he is gay. Uh, the guy, the jobber's name is Men, <laughs> Mentalo, like a black luchador. Uh, Callus yells for for uh, Takashita to kill in Japanese. Uh, Takashita does a suplex, superplex, tombstone, uh, pile driver, or the atomic bomb, or whatever you want to call it, and then a senton, and he wins very easily. Uh, Rene Paquette is talking to the Dark Order and they're talking shit about Hangman Page and it's like who cares about the Dark Order right like I don't even think that negative one wants to be in their group anymore and then you hear Mark Henry do his thing where he's talking about now it's time for the main dish mm -mm, baked beans mm -mm. and then we get to the the main the main event uh let's see have it here Ring of Honor champion Athena versus Willow Nightingale for the Owen Hart Cup. I right here, I love uh, when two black women fight over a white man. It happens all the time. Uh, and at this point, during this whole match, I'm like, where's Sky Blue with her perfect ass? Because her ass is literally like perfection. Like, I think they, they mold um, Greek statues off of that ass. Uh, Ruby Soho is watching a TV in the back to see who wins. Uh, Willow is selling her leg hurting. And I'm like, that's not good because I know black women are more susceptible to diabetes. And that's kind of bad for her leg to hurt. It could lead to amputation if that's not taken care of. Um, I'm surprised Aubrey Edwards is able to referee a match. And not, you know, because of all the time she's on Twitter messing with people's DMCA copyrights and stuff like that. Uh, and I, I'm telling you, Ruby Soho is like a really cute boy. Like, I, I really like the boy Ruby Soho. Like, a, she has a really cute boy ass, you know? Uh, Athena tries to lift up Willow and Willow just falls and then like lands on Athena and gets a three count and that's it and Willow Nightingale wins and it's like okay that's pretty obvious because Ruby is the heel so of course that's gonna be a heel versus fucking babyface I mean oh well, I mean it doesn't really have to be like that Tony Khan can do whatever the fuck he wants right but yeah we'll we'll see what happens tomorrow at Collision and Battle of the Belts we'll be covering it here but yeah, let me know uh, what you think in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe, share, rate, and review. And yeah, we'll keep up with all, at least AEW. Uh, and at least some of the uh, the WWE pay-per-views. I like keeping up with those. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching or listening or whatever. And uh, take care. Bye.